first time we've ever done this, so we don't know what's going on. Well, somebody said something about going live. We did some minor adjustments to this to this little stove right here, and it sure makes a difference. But I started it. I sh we should have started live before it got dark, and we didn't. We didn't even think about it really. But this is going to be short and sweet. Now. I said on the original video, I went with four inch tubing. I apologize for that. This is five inch tubing. So you would think me being a carpenter my whole life, I would know the difference between four and five, but I was just guessing. All right, if you're gonna build one of these, you don't have to have five inch tubing. You can have pipe, you can have four inch tubing. You could probably do it with three inch tubing. But I had quarter inch thick, which is too thick, it's heavy. So it would be a little bit too heavy tailgating at the football game or dragging around, you know, camping or whatever, putting it on the boat and, and, and cooking a meal on the sandbar on the river or something, but it probably weighs, I don't know, 45 pounds. But uh, if you had some like eighth inch or something like that, it would lighten the load a whole lot. It would cut this, this thing in half. You'd be toting maybe, you know, 20, 25 pounds around. It wouldn't be as bad. But y'all see how efficient this thing is. I mean, you see how much wood is in there? And I got this little cover that I put on there just in case when you put your skillet on top, if it starts if it starts coming back this way, you know, you don't want to get, the, you don't need the heat coming out at you when you're trying to cook. So you close this off and what it's been doing, as you can see, it just makes it so much hotter because it's pulling, it's pulling through here now, through the bottom like it's supposed to be, just like a fireplace or a chimney. And you can see, look how hot that thing's getting right there. And see, when you open it up, it tends to fall a little bit. Look at that. See how much that flame fell? That's cool, ain't it? Works out really good. But like I said, you can build this out of four inch. You could build it out of three or four inch, five inch, six inch pipe. Anything like that would work. It doesn't have to be five inch quarter inch thick tubing you know oh yeah and i did make these adjustable right here where you can cook uh, you know you can cook on smaller pans or whatever and you don't have to run it this hot it just all depends <laughs> i mean you would be you would, listen you could cook an elephant on this thing in two minutes like this i know it's hot but <laughs> you see how much wood but if you put if you run oak or something it will not burn like that it'll burn a whole lot slower right now it's just got pine in there and it is i'm talking about getting it. but when you start putting hickory or something like that some kind of hardwood in there then you've got a, a flame you know down this about this size so you're not cooking so hard you know not so fast but it works super good black iron skillet I mean, it is just amazing at how fast and how, you know, small amount of wood you're using. Jeffrey Braswell says, hey bro, how would a damper on the bottom work? It would, it would, that would be awesome. A damper on the bottom, I didn't even think about that, but you could, you could, that way you could actually, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, a little gate valve or something right there, that would be awesome. That's a good idea, I think I'm gonna have to add that to it. And that way you could actually control it like you would a wood burning heat. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, somebody says nice and hot to boil down maple syrup. They know the Canadians. Here, <laughs> here we go with that. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, we don't Rick. have any maple syrup around here, but you're right. We could do cane syrup here. Yeah, yeah. you could cook cane we syrup. We could on. top some birch trees. Yeah. Do birch syrup. Yeah, we could try that. <laughs> but yeah, I like the gate valve on the bottom. You know, the, the you know a damper on the and it would be just like I'm doing a smokehouse out there. I'm I'm adjusting the airflow yeah. and controlling that. Well, I mean, we can do it right now. Wait a minute. Let me find something. I need a piece of wood. Let's see how hot this thing is. Yeah, it's gonna be too hot for that. But that's a great idea. I like that. Look at the deer right here. Oh, there's a doe coming in over there. 
They're coming into the feeder in the front yard. Oh my right. gosh. Not a care in the world. You know, you oh. would, What are you looking for? A piece of wood to, mm -hmm. to use it as a, to see if you could snuff it out. And I'm sure you could. You mean, Look you could, at her. You could bring that down. Man, that's a great idea. I don't even know why I didn't think about that. <laughs> yeah, great idea. Next edition, I'll have a damper on the bottom, just like that, buddy. Just like that. And then, we you never know, we may be cooking maple syrup on this thing. We are going to be cooking maple syrup. <laughs> That's not even a question. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to lug this thing to Canada. We are fresh <laughs> out of sugar maples around, down here in South Alabama. So. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Thing will cook. But what all have we cooked on it? We've done the... Gator and eggs. Yeah, we did the and breakfast thing. Yeah. We did, I did an apple pie today. Yep. Which was delicious. Yes, we it did was. Bread. Yeah. I'm still miserable from eating all that. Well, there's more for tonight. Oh, there's another dough coming in. Is it? Yeah. There's two now. That's wild. That Got that head shoved in the boss buck feeder out there. I just filled them up a while ago, so. You got people from all over. Arizona, Louisiana, Tennessee, saying hello. Indiana. Yeah, we really, really appreciate the support, people. Sure do. Thank y'all. We do. Maybe, maybe one of these crazy videos can help y'all out sometime. You never know. Never know. We got someone from Alberta, Canada. We're heading there this week. Sure are. We headed there Friday. Michigan, Kansas, South Carolina, New Jersey, North Carolina. Wow. <laughs> People from all over. Arkansas, Georgia, Wyoming. Oh. What That's... are we going to cook on here next? Mm, whatever it is, we better be hurrying up. One more day. One more day and then we're gone for a little bit. Anybody have any suggestions? What do you want to see us cook it on? Yep. Cook on it. Maybe they, I'm sure somebody's got something. We could fry chicken on this thing. We're down here in the south, so yeah. A lot of fried stuff. Yeah, well, what do we got in the freezer? We've got turtle, gator, deer, hog. Got a little bit of pork. Yeah, I got a little bit of hog. Someone, uh, where are you up out there now? Oh, someone says fried catfish. We do have some catfish. We do there. have some catfish. That's a great idea. There you go. Next one, fried catfish on this thing right here. Perfect. Fried cat. Oh, turtle soup. Turtle soup. Fried catfish. I think that's a good one. Yeah. I could go for some cra fried catfish. It's been a little while. Well, I'll throw some out in a little bit. Yeah, that was a good idea. Yep, tomorrow some catfish. Says, we got plenty of peanut oil. Someone says zebra. <laughs> we haven't done that one yet. <laughs> yeah, fresh out, we're fresh out of zebra. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, fresh out of zebra. Check out those deer. There's three now. Four. Yeah, there's four. Five. Oh, coming. there's another one coming in. Yep. yep. Maybe we'll have to do the fried catfish live for everybody to tune in. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, there's five out there now. That's crazy, ain't it? We're out here talking, going live. Oh, they're... <laughs> She's swatting at her. That's something else. All right, so fried catfish it is. Fried catfish it is, coming right up. Yep. I'll throw that out right now. We'll do that tomorrow. Try to get that posted for y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all have a great evening. Thank you for the support. Appreciate y'all.